Hey fellow traders, in today's video, I'm going to show you how do you use Finviz to find the best currency pairs to trade. Okay, if you've been trading Forex, you know that uh, Forex is actually trading two pairs, right? When you're buying, for example, say a euro dollar, you are actually buying euro and selling dollar. Okay, so the best way to find the best currency pair is you want to pair the strongest currency pair with the weakest currency pair. Okay, so if let's say the strongest currency pair is euro and the weakest currency pair is a cat, then you want to look for an opportunity in euro cat. Okay, so hopefully that makes sense. Okay, uh, this is the second video. Okay, we do have another video that teaches you how to use Finbase and that video teaches you how to look at um, the weekly uh, relative performance to find the best uh, currency pairs to trade. Okay, but in today's video, it's something different. It's about how do you use all three, um, all three time frames, the monthly, the weekly, and daily to find the best uh, trade setups. Okay, so if you have not watched that video, uh, you can watch that video after this. Okay, what I'll do is I'll leave a link in the description below so you can check that out. But you want to apply uh, both of this, okay, because it's very powerful. Okay, I don't see anyone using it. And uh, this new idea that I have, you know, it's, it just makes sense, okay. As I explained to you in a moment's time, you will hopefully understand why it's a very logical way of trading, okay. But just a disclaimer, right, just like the previous video, okay, this is just a tool. Right, it's just a tool for you to uh, know what currency pairs to look at. It is not a trading strategy. Okay, so big disclaimer: do not just trade off Finviz. Okay, because um, we get a lot of emails about this video, and you know we see a lot of people just take this information out of context and just trade. You know, like they just go and buy Eurocat in this case, uh, without analyzing the chart, without having any strategies in play. You know, not having a stop loss, not having a take profit target. Okay, so please, uh, please, please. Okay, please do not do that. Okay, I don't want you to blow your account. Okay, if you need a day, day trading strategy, we do have a free day trading guide for you. So the link is in the description. Make sure you download that if you do not yet have a free, um, you know, you do not have it yet a trading strategy. Okay, it's free. So make sure you check that out. Okay, so let's get into today's video. Okay, I'm pumped to share this with you because it's, it's, it makes so much sense to me and you know, I just want you, know, want you to know this, right? This new concept that uh, to me, it just blows my mind. Okay, so in the previous video, we talked about how to use the one week relative performance. But in today's video, let's talk about how to use all of these, uh, all, all three time frames, which is the money, weekly, and daily. Okay, so let's think about it logically. Okay, when you have three time frames lining up, for example, if uh, in the monthly time frame, a uh, franc is the strongest, and you have franc being the strongest in the weekly, and you have franc the strongest in the daily, uh, then it is your highest probability trade, right? Because all time frames is pointing that franc is strengthening. Okay, so just bear that in mind. You want to look for um a, for a currency pair where all three time frames are aligned, meaning that it all says the same thing. Okay, now this doesn't always happen. Okay, it doesn't always happen. For example, today it's the 6th of July. Okay, it's actually not too good to, to do it today because, you know, uh, the month has just started. So um, this, this, you know, results here is only reflects kind of like um, just a couple of trading days. Okay, but uh, I just wanted to record this video out to share with you first so that um, you, you, can, you can understand the concept, right? Because uh, you just need to take note that you want to be using this probably maybe one, two weeks into the trading month so that at least you get some movement uh, in the uh, monthly charts, okay? So the idea is very simple, okay? You want to look for currency pair which is strong or weak for all three time frames, okay? So let's say uh, if you have a franc uh, is the strongest, for example, franc is the strongest right now uh, on the monthly performance. Uh, if on the weekly, it's also franc, okay? Uh, in this case, it's the second strongest. It's not too bad still because it's not, at least it's not a weak, right? It's still strong. And if you look at a day, in this case, it's still strong, okay? So this is how you use it. You want to align all three time frames together. It means the monthly, the weekly, and the daily, okay? That's how you find the best trade setups because all three time frames are agreeing with you. That means that it is a very established trend. Okay, so this is a strategy to find a momentum trades. Okay, this is not um you know kind of like a pullback trade or you know it's not um you are not trying to catch reverses. It's more of a follow the trend trade. Okay, but as I explained just now, um this is not a uh, strategy on its own. Okay, this is just telling you that okay it seems like this month a uh, franc is strong. 
okay uh the weekly charts um for this week which is monday which is a again uh, not ideal because the week has just started right and when the week has just started the daily and weekly chart uh, performance will be the same because today is monday right so the performance will be the same but let's assume that you know you are checking this on uh, perhaps wednesday when you know the the week has a uh, kind of started you know like three days into the trading week then uh, you have different data for the daily and the uh weekly performance relative performance uh, chart over here okay so what you want to do is you want to go to the monthly you find your strongest and your weakest you go to your weekly and you hopefully you find something that is so strong or something that is so weak and you look for the same pattern in a daily okay now just a you know just a warning this doesn't happen often okay if you've been trading you know forex for some time uh, you probably will know that uh, the market doesn't trend that often okay forex is really very difficult to trade because it doesn't trend that often it doesn't you know go one direction and just keeps going up 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 without any retracements right the market moves in what i like to call teams right so for example this week it might be the euro team meaning that all euro pairs start to you know trend up right then next week is for example the cat team so the markets tend to move in a team okay so it's a very rare scenario where all three time frames are aligned Okay, but if you can find out, you know, a currency pair where all three time frames align, then you are going to have your highest probability setups, right? Those are the kind of setups which uh, you have to still go into the chart, right? You go in the chart and you be more aggressive. You can look for levels that, you know, are about to be broken and you trade the breakout or you can buy off support. You can trade a little bit more aggressively because you know that the monthly, the weekly and the daily trend is with you right so it's it's very high probability think of it this way right um only in trading can you bet on the strongest currency and you know still get a decent uh you know risk to reward right you think about it if let's say you are betting on um, soccer right let's say there's arsenal versus penu and it's uh arsenal is leading 3-0 right and it's like 85 minutes okay if you were to do a bet that arsenal will win right, like with a bookie or, you know, through your, uh, some bet, betting websites, you're going, going to get very terrible odds because the probability of that happening is very, very, very likely. So you are not being compensated for your risk, okay? But in this case, in the case of trading, in the case of Forex, what is so good about Forex is that, you know, you can, you can bet on the clear winner. In this case, let's say it's Frank. You can bet on a clear winner and still get a very good risk to reward. Okay, trading is the only you know arena where you can bet on the most likely outcome and still get good results. You know, good risk to reward. Unlike you know soccer, you know unlike the casino, you know you bet horse racing, right? So if you approach it from this perspective, that you know, okay, I just want to make sure that all three um all three time frames align. Okay, all the monthly, the weekly, and the daily time frames align, and I just put in you know a sizable bet. I control my risk, I hide my stop loss below a key uh, support or resistance level, then more, more often than not, you're going to see that uh, your position will be green. Okay, but you do need to be patient uh, to wait for all three time frames uh, because as I said, it doesn't always happen, right? It's, it's, very, it's going to be very rare, but uh, if you can find something like that, uh, then you have a big winner. Okay, so what I want you to do is I want you to check out the other video. Okay, I will leave a link in the description. Okay, if you have not watched the other video of how to use this uh, weekly relative performance over here, or you know what this website is all about, you know, how do you use this, uh, check out that video because when you use uh, that, that video's uh, theory and this theory together, you are able to find a better trades, right? Because if let's say um, you don't have a clear currency pair that, for example, say like Frank is not strong in the monthly, weekly and daily, uh, you, st you still can find trading opportunities or rather you still can use this uh, fin this uh, weekly chart right to uh, find the good trades okay you don't have to just whole day you know wait for the, uh, the currency pair to align right because as I said it, it seldom happens right I, I know that most of you do not like to wait I myself I do not like to wait either so um, that video will show you how to use the weekly performance uh, to filter out the best trades okay so that's how you use it, right? After you do your analysis, let's say you conclude that a pound franc it's the uh, it's a currency pair that you want to short because uh, let's say that across all three time frames, pound is the weakest and a uh, franc is the strongest. 
So you want a short time frame, then you just open your charts, okay? And then you look for an entry point, okay? You must have an entry point, okay? As I stress uh, before I started sharing this video, you must have an entry point, you must have a strategy that defines your stop loss and your take profit and how you manage your risk, okay? That is uh, necessary, that is required, okay? Do, do not just um, say, oh, based on this performance, I'm just going to uh, short it, okay? Uh, that's not the right way to trade. Okay, I've already done everything for you, right? I've already given you the PDF, I've already given you the cheat sheet, I've already given you the day trading strategy that works uh, for our team. So all you need to do is you just need to go and read it, download a free copy, digest it. It's not that long anyway, I think it's about 40 pages, right? Just go check it out, right? And start applying it uh, together with uh, this uh, thin base, okay? So you can access this. Once again, I'll leave the link in the description, so make sure you check out that video, okay? If you have any questions about how to use this spin base, anything, right, just leave a comment down below. Uh, my team will do our best to address any questions you have, okay? So thank you for your time. I'll see you in the next video.